Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. Today we're going to be showing off a pretty interesting mod that adds a good few characters. Uh, this is the Unbinded uh, and this this mod actually adds, uh, I think it's it's four characters technically because it's uh, two characters and a tainted character. Let me take a little look at the um, description we can kind of go through this here and check who we've got. So we've got um, Nadba, Nad, Nad, Nadab and Abu, I can't exactly pronounce that, Explosive Brothers, uh, or as the Unbind, the Shadow Spirit. And each of those have a tainted variety of themselves, I believe. There's also a lot of unlocks, and this mod also adds a ton of curses too. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff. I think I'm going to try out um, Nad Nadab and Abu. I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. Ab Ab Abu? Either way, yeah, we're going to try out both of these as two different episodes, and then, yeah, they have uh, tainted variants as well, so... We'll do quite a few uh, of these showcase episodes over the next week or so, two weeks, we'll see. Um, and yeah, if people like them a lot, we can think about adding them to the series as well. But let's just jump in. From what I understand of this guy, you have to control your HP in order to deal explosive damage, which I don't exactly understand what that means, but I guess we're about to find out. Um, and it certainly seems like an interesting idea when playing as two characters. As you guys know, I've had issues with that in the past with Jacob and Ezao, uh, just in the fact that normally when you're playing a heavily modded save file, it comes with a bit of additional lag. Oh, okay, no, you don't play as the other character. I see, okay. So, we've got E to explode. So, okay, so we just kind of have Kamikaze and then we set on fire briefly and then we item as normal. So, yeah, basically we have built-in Kamikaze. Oh, we got Nancy bombs off the bat. I wonder if that synergizes. Random blasts. Okay, so... It certainly does synergize. This is a, this is a nice start. Now, the question is, how do I want to be using this? Okay, so I don't actually have any bombs, which I'm noticing. And the th I can still fire as well, which is somewhat surprising. Um, So did that bomb turn into a key there? I think it did. I'm pretty sure that bomb just turned into a key. Um... Got a brimstone bomb in there. Oh my god, getting Nancy bombs here. So that's a key. Okay, no, that turned into HP. Okay, there you go, we heal up. So bombs are HP. Okay, interesting. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, so bombs and HP are all going to basically fuel our ability to bomb. For some reason, I thought I was going to brimstone bomb there. Of course, I'm not going to. There, there's a brimstone bomb. Oh my god. Getting bomb synergies with this character. But it looks like it uses red health exclusively though, which is very, very nice. Let's, uh, yeah, it uses red health exclusively, which is not what I would have expected, but I'm very, very happy to see it. This does mean I can sneak into uh, thingy rooms now though as well, doesn't it? You're gonna distract you. Good. I'm trying to blow him up next to this rock here, but it's not really working. Does that guy do damage as well? It kind of might look like he does. Okay, I don't have to use the bomb form. I just can. I'm kind of using it like I have to use it, but I don't. We get an extra bomb there, which is going to heal us for half a heart. Nice, and we get black hearts. Honestly, black hearts and soul hearts seem incredibly valuable as this character. So far, I like the idea. The fact that they synergize with bombs is really nice, and the fact that we got a bomb synergy, like, right off the bat is just exquisite. Like, our first item. I wonder, actually, I do wonder if maybe... Oh, that guy sets people on fire when he touches them. I wonder if it's a guarantee... Do you know what? You need to die. Uh, I wonder if it's a guarantee that you get a bomb synergy as your first item room item. Unless we just got really, really lucky. Especially Nancy bombs is a pretty lucky one, because we get to see... All of the different bomb synergies. And yeah, like, for some reason I kind of assumed this guy wouldn't be able to shoot tears. Because of the way that he has explosive stuff going on. But he can, which is interesting. We'll check in here. No other bomb synergy. But, Dead Bird is some somewhat synergistic. Because, when we hurt ourselves, we activate our Dead Bird. So, even though it's not a great synergy, it's somewhat synergistic. Good. We got soul hearts going. Pop that. Full heal would be really good. Tears down is annoying, but not terrible. This little bag here is very, very nice, because that's just bombs for us, really. At the end of the day. We got a hero font here. Okay. 
Okay, business. So we, we we don't want to be going Devil Deal here. We definitely want as many red hearts so we can get our grubby little paws on. Um, That's going to be very, very important as this guy. Oh, we got a, a half heart back there. Nice. I wonder how broken explosive immunity is with this guy. Surely it doesn't protect you from uh, your own explosive damage because that would just be absolutely absurd. But maybe it does. <laughs> It'd be kind of crazy. Also, I wonder if this guy has any specific synergy with the Kamikaze Active. I wonder if you can... Do you know what? Also, so many Tinted Rocks. I wonder if... Um, you can do it where you use your... Use Kamikaze and then use E at the same time. So it only costs one bit of HP, but you can do two explosions. Uh, secret we should be looking out for. I think it's here. Indeed it is. Hangman's lovely. Certainly not looking to reroll this run right now. So far, so good with this. I mean, one thing I am noticing is we do have pretty damn low speed. Um, we're definitely going to want to buff that up a little bit if we can. And I think it's all about sort of picking your timing. You can use the extra power of the explosions uh, for, like, hurting stuff. But I think a lot of the time it's kind of mainly going to be used for utility because you have more of a resource of using bombs than you normally would. And I, I actually really do like the idea of characters that use bombs of more of a main form of combat because I feel like that's something that's kind of underutilized in Isaac. There is definitely quite a few methods to utilize bombs for damage, but not really as like your main form of damage. There's there's very few times that becomes uh, like apparent apart from like the Dr. Fetus. Um, so it's nice. Yeah, I'm really liking the fact that we've got like this flaming scapegoat here. Also, a good thing is as well, whenever we take damage, it's a good idea to then pop an explosion. Um, what the hell's this? The Gardening Trowel. Spawns burn spares, can dig up dirt patches like um, Rune of Air was, and we need to go deeper. Not particularly good, is it? Is that, that, that's from this mod, isn't it? Okay. Um, Semi-useful? I think I'm going to try for a, a reroll. Let's, uh, let's first blow up this. That... Obviously, is not what I meant to do, but there you go. Uh, I'll take this, and then I'll grab that as well. Just more bombs for me. Um, yeah, the cyst is pretty good. The first shot of every room does 10 times damage. It's really, really nice. Oh, we got a bunch of mini Isaacs there. I think that's a, a modded bomb synergy there. I like it. Definitely want to be looking for as much health as we can here to pop in poops where I can. I like this. Yeah, that 42 damage shot straight upon entering is real nice. All of our mini Isaacs doing a good job. I really, really am enjoying this character right now. There you go, just double bomb that guy. Killing bosses is like easy peasy. Range and tier size up doesn't do much for us here. We'll go down to down porch because I want to see the boiler floor if it could show itself to us. We'll grab the uh, liberty cap there. We've got more mini Isaacs on board. We got Boiler. Hell yes. I'm always aiming to see Boiler when I can. It's just really fucking cool as a floor. Also, music is nice here too. Okay, let's not use any more bombs while we've got very little red hearts. Whoa. Those little dudes are kind of awesome. Teleporting to smoke away from us. Some money here though. Hey, yeah, we, we want to be careful with our first assist shot to make sure we can guarantee a kill with it. This is so cool. This floor. The music's very, um, like jazz room vibes. I really like it. It's like nice, sultry sort of jazz music. Very, very nice. Very welcoming. That soul heart is good. Any method to give us more red hearts is going to be great. I think we actually do go for um, for the D20 here. Because, uh, like I said, better way more ways to get more red hearts is good. And D20 technically is that. What's this little dude? I'm not sure, but he's gone now. There's a heart for us. If we get a lot of coins or whatnot, we can uh, utilize that to potentially get more hearts. Or more bombs that will give us hearts. But yeah, my little dude isn't really there for anything other than just being a little distraction, really, and a little bit of excess damage here and there. That's kind of tricky to hit. Ooh, we got broken record. Um, 
I don't actually think Broken Record is all that good for us right now. Items have a chance to be replaced with items we already have. I'm actually not going to take... I, I, I normally really, really like that item. But I actually think in this circumstance, it's not super valuable. Um, just for the pure fact that we don't have any items right now that I'd say that duplicating is highly beneficial. Unless we can duplicate this, this lad that we've got, our friend here. I used my active by accident. Whoops. Don't know why I did that. I'll take it. Actually, no. I'll take it. New boss. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use my bombs on this guy because it's a new boss, and I want to see what he does. I'd rather not just instantly kill him. I'm intrigued by uh, his attack patterns. It charges me down, fires at me in a spread pattern. You do a little stomp, stomp. Oh god. Okay. His stomp stomps did actually do something. I just wasn't ready for it. But yeah, I respect I respect the effort that went into these bosses too much to just insta-kill the boss. Okay, this guy's getting into like a rage mode right now and kicking up loads of shit. He's also charred now too. Oh lord. He's difficult. Is what it is, is what he is. Very cool boss. Certainly a tricky one, but very, very cool. HP, that is fantastic. And it heals us up a little bit as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep going down to the next floor. I could go to the mines, I suppose. Let's go to the mines, why not? It only costs us two, well, one full red heart. And we also got this here as well. Hey, in come the black hearts, awesome. Down we go. Yeah, why not go to the mines? But yeah, I, I, I like these characters that have these sort of alternate ways of using things that are normally available to everyone in Isaac. Kind of like with Tainted Blue Baby in the way that he doesn't get access to bombs. It's fun to see stuff like that. Yeah, I don't think we've seen any new curses yet. There is quite a few new curses. Um, and I mean, I mean quite a few. We haven't seen any yet. Some of them seem really, really like, normal and simple. Others seem really brutal, but you can turn them on and off individually, so... And they might even need to be unlocked, I'm not sure. This character does have... Well, this mod, sorry, does have a lot of unlocks. I keep wondering why my damage is so low, but it's actually because my tier size is huge and I'm getting it confused. Another hanged man there. Do get one of these, though. Get a Bernie boy. Help us out. Bomb them all, and then we get a heart out of it as well. Awesome. Just a bunch of batteries, you say. Still don't really know what all of these batteries do. Boom. Oh, perfect. Perfection. Oh, it gave us some, uh, gave us some Book of Virtue Wisps. I see, nice. I like that. We've also got a battery there that we can utilize. We've got a lot of HP there, though, so we can go boom. Kill you. We've even got our bomb back there. Straight for the HP again. But yeah, anything that can heal you regularly as this character just seems absolutely nuts. Like the leech. Oh my god, the leech would be so good. The leech is literally infinite bombs. Don't know how that's going to work, so I'm going to leave it until the end of the floor. Because I, I might end up trying to bomb and getting rid of my Eternal Heart. It might take the Eternal Heart after Red Hearts, but I'm not sure, so I don't want to risk it. We could smelt this to ourselves. Gain the White Fire effect while held. Interesting. I'm going to smelt this to start with, though. But Penny? Don't think we need that. These guys throw shit at us, so we gotta be very, very careful of that. Calm down, fella, calm down. Definitely need a little bit of a damage up going forward. What what exactly is going on here? Okay, there you go. Ow, you got me. I tried to keep my cyst shot to kill that guy, but it didn't really work. Oh my god. Taking damage I shouldn't be taking here. Boom. 
<laughs> That's so satisfying. Especially when they drop HP. Man, it makes it feel so much more worthwhile when they drop HP. Um, on taking damage. Ooh, okay. So, oh, Toxic Shock, what a, what a bad miss. But one thing that I'm really liking about this character is he has bomb synergies, but he also has on-hit effect synergies as well, which I absolutely love. I, I think on-hit synergies are something that uh, they are so satisfying, but not enough characters have them. A lot of hearts there, so we can use as much many bombs as we want, really. Going forth. But this is nice with this uh, this item we just got. Haha, -ha, we don't need to use any of your bullshit. Beautiful. We get the capsule here, which is going to give us a few bits and bobs. HP is a very, very wonderful one to grab. Plus one damage is also very wonderful, just what I was asking for. And we get this, which has been changed, apparently. Okay, so this got completely reworked recently. Heart container plus one. Great. Chance to fire a tier that ap applies the germicide status effect for five seconds. Germicide enemies spawn friendly, downgraded versions of themselves on death. That is fucking awesome. That is such a cool rework. Highly, highly, highly down for this as an item now. It used to be that if you didn't pick up anything on the next floor, any items, you got the bonuses, like the health and the luck and the damage were reapplied, which was nice, but not all that interesting to play, like, because it just incentivized you to not take items, which isn't really that fun. Whereas this is new and very interesting. Still looking for that speed upgrade. I'm very happy with where our red health sits right now. Um, who are we looking to kill before you uh, perish? I see, I see. Thank you. My god. Definitely lowers the frame rate a little bit when we're throwing out all this crap, but I like it. So this guy's got the genocide tier effect. He just spawned a bomb, so he wasn't very useful to us. There you go, you spawn it as well. Are you just going to spawn a bomb as well? Yeah, unfortunately he doesn't spawn anything nice for us. I will crack both of these open. Nice one. I keep trying to shoot my buddy. He cannot be shot. Psy Hunter guy here. I'm, I I'm guessing with certain modded enemies it has trouble giving us a, a minion of some kind. The downgraded versions. Nice. I mean, we might as well re-roll these into something that could be more useful for us. Indeed that was. You're the one that throws bombs at us, aren't you? Yeah. Aha, I have my own bombs now, fool. Um, we got the Eraser. Not particularly what I'm looking for. I'm just going to take these two. It's good skedaddle. Awesome. Really loving this character thus far. Really, really loving it. Synergy with on-hit effects. Synergies with bombs. I really, really like that. Especially the synergy with on-hit effects. That that makes my day. It makes items that that deal that, that do something where you deal damage or take damage so much more valuable because normally they're so underwhelming. And this really adds some some much needed value to them. Grab this little bit of extra health. Because I mean honestly, every little helps here. And we, sh we shall escape to the next floor. I might even do Mausoleum if I get some spare soul hearts on this floor. A little Psy Hunter dude here. Don't want to use bombs for damage all that often, but I will use them where I can. Ooh. Taking damage has a 20% chance to grant you damage up. Well, I'll be taking a lot of damage, so... That works very, very nicely for us. Um, uses add an item related to mum, dad, or guppy for the room. Um, spawn one hungry soul. And granting use grants a black heart, holding it, you take double damage. Bookworm is good. I think I'm just going to stick with my D20, to be honest. But we got Bookworm. Pretty happy with that. Got 
you're all ready to die for. Boom. I'm going to say our rage grows will gain damage up for doing stuff like that. It's great. Such a good uh, trinket to get, really. My god, I love this, like, tier rain that we do. It said it was quality one, and normally it would be because you have to get hit. But for us, it's not really quality one. Look at that. We're, like, covering the floor in creep. We're firing tears all over the place. Everything's just dead. It's kind of amazing. I absolutely love the ability to turn items that are such low quality. Even just, like, dead bird. Normally quality zero, because it's got a not very strong effect, and it can only be activated if you take damage. But, now that we can take damage on our red health exclusively, like we can purposely take damage on our red health, and get a bomb usage out of it, which synergizes with bomb upgrades, it's just so valuable, and you can trigger on-hit effects with some actual, like, intention, and utilize them properly, uh, while also getting a bomb out of it, which is really nice. I do not like this rock here, I'm just going to blow that up. Oh yeah, so now we've got this Psy Hunter dude, this, this little Psy boy, to help us out, and he's our friend. And I'm guessing he stays with us room to room as well. He does. Mustard seed coming through. Very, very nice. Now I've got to be careful for those shooter dudes. And there you go, we got a Bernie out of that guy. I'm liking mustard seed, i got to tell you. I'm really liking it. Please give us a key. Yeah, nice one. We can go into the shop here, teleport to the Hermit. But, like, just look at the amount of creep and stuff this creates. Imagine this with the cork item that, like, creates more creep. Beautiful. And we even get a bomb back as well. Got all of it. Just got all of it. Having a lot of fun as this guy. I'm, I'm curious to see what the tainted version of this guy is like. Because I don't really see what they do to make this tainted. Maybe maybe the, you, there's more emphasis on the brother. Potentially. That guy just killed himself there. Trying to gamble for a soul heart there. It's fine. Right, I'm, I'm, what other on-hit effects would be really good right now? I'm trying to think. I'm sure there's a few that would be really, really amazing. Little portal is definitely a big no-go for me. Empty Heart. Actually, really, really good. Empty Heart is very, very nice for us. Because that could mean more Red Heart containers. Honestly, what we need is... We need... Red Heart's all but three, I'd say. So we need two more Red Heart containers. And that'd be a really good place to be. Because then we've got a little bit of safety with the Soul Hearts that we have. We've got plenty of Red Hearts to spend. Honestly, Hermit card into here. I was honestly just hoping to buy a, a Red Heart, but oh well. Uh, we're not going to go to the Mausoleum with the health we've got at now, I don't think. Probably could have left those Black Hearts and come back for them, but oh well. We'll just go down to the regular floor. Reasonably happy to fight Mum now. Mum's foot. Should be good stuff. We got. Our, glad I bought that key. Picking up a soul heart with an empty red heart will convert it to red hearts at a 2 to 1 ratio. Plus 2 health up. Heals 3 hearts on pickup. It's pretty good. This is exactly the amount of HP that I want it to be at. This is the exact amount that I was just saying would be great. Although now having empty heart might create some issues. But hey her. Hey, her. Annoying ass room. Also, with this character, you can skip doors, too. You can just, like, skip rooms. Which is really nice. Ow. Hey, we got a, a big old dude here with Herming Shot. Very much like that. Don't kill my buddies. Very much like that. Oop, I, I got him. I got him stuck with the mustard seed. Nice one. He didn't give us anything though. I think it's only certain enemies that can give you uh, other friendlies. Oh, that guy just gave me one of those. Nice one. 
Nice. Hey, a red heart. Perfect. Feel more comfortable at doing this now. And we got some health back for it as well. Beautiful. Does that bomb count as one full red heart? I think it does, doesn't it? We've already seen that item room as well. You can't actually pick up bombs when you're full, which is interesting. Don't really need either of those. Oop, grab that real quick. Dude, this guy's homing shots keep homing in on me and pushing me around. Not a fan of that. I think we should beeline it to the boss at this point, aren't we? Hey, fellas. I'll pop this. Are you a wizard? Annoying, but not terrible. Ow. More damage than I should have taken there. Why'd you start with slightly less HP than normal? Strange. Why'd I get Are you a wizard before? This is so annoying. He's on such low health. Just die. Good. And I healed our red health instead of giving us a soul heart. We'll take this. Is this double? Oh, this is double Job's family. Nice. Two of those is pretty damn strong. And I will check in here. If there's anything particularly good for us. Ghost Pepper's just always good. I'll, I'll, I'll do Boss Rush and take Ghost Pepper. Why not? But yeah, Job's family is particularly just useful anyways. What the hell hit me then? Oh, we got fucking Bike Lord here. God damn it. But main reason I thought to do Boss Rush here is enemies tend to drop a decent amount of hearts when they die. So we might be able to get quite a good amount out of this. Dude, what, what, what's damaging me right now? I keep taking damage and I have no idea. Is it like the eye or something? I don't know. Cover the floor and creep. Oh my god, my speed is so low. Still. My, our biggest issue right now is our speed. I don't know if any bosses can be downgraded. I, I doubt it. At least we got a distraction dude as well here. That's nice. The spiders are getting thrown directly at him instead of us. Spiders are still very, very nice here for us. See, there's more hearts. So now we can boom you. Where are you, fella? You're moving around like crazy. Boom. The air bomb on you. And then grab this full heart. I, it's like, it's hard to tell if the game's like kind of laggy or if it's just simply because um, I've got such low speed. Do, do I lose speed every time I use a bomb or something? Because I'm down to 0 0.45 now. Like, when did I get to that low speed? I don't. So where the hell... What's lowering my speed then? Does anyone know? My speed is so low though. It was 0 0.65 before. Either way, let's not think about it now. Let's not worry. Killing stuff pretty fast right now. That was a very bad dodge by me. My bad. Dude, still diving from screen to screen. Oh, we got a tiny little white spider for you devolving a spider. That's so funny. Get lost, you. The freak. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I need to check if, if I can get a free explosion during my iframes when I get hit. I don't know if I can. If I can, that'd be valuable knowledge. I could just get an extra explosion out there. Boom. Ooh, I actually got a key out of that as well. I'm trying to think what the best possible bomb upgrade would be. 
Would it be glitter bombs which should keep getting more bombs slash HP back? Probably, right? We are down quite a bit on HP here, but the game take away, but it giveth back. Careful our big boy doesn't jump here. He did, but we got him. The creep damage is so crazy high from this uh, other item we got here. We should be almost done now, I think. I'm not really bothering about the bee enemy right now. Okay, no, that, that still dealt damage to me even though I was in iframes. I had to check. I thought it would because it'd be strong if, it, if not. Ah, oh, bugger me. I keep getting hit some really stupid stuff. You see what I mean though? That Gish just almost died entirely, entirely to the creep that we left behind from getting hit previously. Absolutely nuts. Calm down, big lad. Yeah, now we're at the situation where it's a little bit more rocky because we don't have any soul hearts to rely on. This has to be the last wave, right? No, it's not. Wow. There's a black heart there. I'm going to leave that till the end, though. I don't do you jumping. Oh, you're jumping on my friend. Haha. -ha. That's not me, you fool. You've been fooled, my ladder. Not this time, they haven't, though. I like the little flower icon, it's cute. Can I remember if this guy can brimstone upwards or not? That has to be it, right? What the hell? Golden plum, I would have thought it's done by now. Golden plum's cute. Come on now. There you go. Red button. Got a good old red button. And we also got dog tooth as well, which is actually pretty damn good with the amount of explosives we can use. I'm just so incentivized to use explosives. It's great. I mean, like, for combat, not just utility. It's nice. Bunch of these bloody hearts about. Ah, I just the way that the hearts move just annoys the hell out of me. Stop moving and grooving the way that you do. Bombs is HP, so we'll leave those there. Okay. Now we take a full heart of damage, though. They don't heal for a full heart at the minute. Okay. So that does definitely add some extra risk here to using our bombs, because we're now using a full heart pair. But we're at the point now where I feel like we don't actually need to use our bombs for combat as much, maybe just for bosses. Beautiful to get a bomb there. What the hell hit me then? Is it my minions that are hitting me? It certainly felt like that. Otherwise, I, I legitimately have no idea what hit me. I'm, maybe I'm just blind? Nice one. I was going to say, I'm really liking how our uh, mustard seed is working now. A much more interesting item than it used to be. Ooh, that's cool. Dude, what the fuck hit me? I'm so confused. Like, I must be just going absolutely senile. I'm just not seeing what's hitting me any of the times. Get out of here, you munchy boy. We will garner more HP. We've got Skolex. Ah, oh, bugger. Oh wait, I did I did use a, a, a bomb during my iframes there and it worked. Oh, 
Oh, dude, that guy jumped far. Way further than I was hoping. But our creep should hopefully do a lot of damage. The fires do a lot. Definitely. Oh, my God. So much damage to him. Oh, heal for two red hearts at the start of every floor. Hell yes. Hell yes. That's amazing for us. Thank you muchly. These hearts are brutal if you let them get that attack out. You get them gone. Luckily, they kind of fired all their shots the wrong way, so it was fine for us. We just got a heart back, so I'm going to do this. Sadly, nothing great for us there. We're not, we're not going to be using that. Nice one. I think we've gone the right way here by the looks of things so far. Oh, God damn. Enemy's so hard to hit. Yeah, we went the right way straight away. Awesome. Oh, bloody hell. He jumped right on me. Don't worry, we're going to heal two hearts at the end of the next floor. We even get mini dudes look as our mustard seeds. Look at them. So cute. And to get bombs in where I can, but realizing that it's not the most effective strategy when you've not got a ton of HP to work with. But we are going to heal two at the end of the floor, so that's nice. It'd be nice if Mustard Seed did something against bosses, but I can understand why it doesn't. And up we go. But yeah, I think we've, we've kept our health pretty much on par here. And I feel like as well I've gotten... I kind of thought that this might happen where like, you get later into the game and you kind of stop using the main uh, gimmick of the character. That happens with a lot of modded characters, to be honest. It's always a shame, like my stemmer and stuff. Um... But this character, Nerm, you can, you, like, it's more dangerous to use, but you can still thoroughly utilize his gimmick. Bag of trash gives flies. Um, that's not a bag of trash, that's a bag of pennies. <laughs> the sprite for that is wrong. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, bloody hell. Room's a pain in the ass. I need to be using my, uh, thingy more. Oh, Oh, it's been using my uh, active more and rooms with stuff in it. We do have a secret room here. Good. What do you do again? I don't remember, but either way, you're dead now. Like here, let's just. Yeah, see? Well worth it. We got a flight. Bother with that. I know there's a secret room there, game. I know that. There's pot boys, yeah. Oh god, don't, don't create spiders. That's very, very annoying. Honestly, this is just a really frustrating bit of combat here. I'm surprised there's another two coming from the other pots, to be honest. Careful of that. Yeah, at this point, we're probably not going to be using our uh, our bombs all too much unless we get more methods of getting HP. Or just find a lot more HP. Just a holy poop. Nothing more. Oh, that was a herming shot. I was not privy to that incoming. We get a bomb there. there. Okay, this guy, I think I'm just going to attack normally. Try and get my uh, my Job's families in a row to do some good damage. We also got one of these guys, look. Aha, you're aiming for the wrong boy. You know, aim for me. You aim for the wrong boy. Oh, we got one of these guys here. Nice one. Yeah, Mustard Seed. Absolutely phenomenal rework to a interesting but kind of plain item. Very good to see. And it's become something so much more now. 
I want to finish him off with a bomb, but I know it's not worth it. <laughs> Dice bombs have been unlocked. Awesome. Head on down. See if we get any other bomb upgrades. I'm so glad we got Nancy bombs off the bat, though. Don't know how this would work. We'll find out. I don't think it's going to do anything much for our uh, thingy. Twinkle of Contagion. Enemies have a chance to glow upon entering a room. Looking at a glowing enemy uh, passes the effect into you, giving you a stat boost while under the effect. For a period of time, the glowing effect will jump from the player to a random enemy. Decent, I guess. We're going to be laying so much creep on the floor now. Boom. I should have a little bit of leeway to use thingies now. So much creep on the floor. So much creep on the floor. Okay, are you fella? Don't be spawning shitheads. Come on now. You're better than this. Walk right into one of those lasers. I swear sometimes the bombs heal for half a heart, sometimes it's a full heart. And I don't know what the distinction is. Either that or I'm just seeing it wrong. It's also definitely plausible. Bloodstone. Not bad, not bad. Certainly take a load stone, why not? Got a half heart there that we don't actually need right now, surprisingly. Yeah, speed seems to change so randomly. Like, I know that we have, um, what's it called? The um, Liberty Cap, which is probably affecting our speed somewhat. Still, it's, it's very much all over the place. Oh, really? You went invisible right as I bombed you? Come on now. Don't be like that. He just sat over the top of the rocks. Hey, Bob's Curse. Another bomb upgrade. I'm still so super curious to hear from you guys or anyone if I just got really lucky with getting Nancy bombs as my first thing. Or if that was just pure, like, if that was pure luck or if that was just something that happens where you always get a bomb upgrade. Because that would make sense. Like, it'd make the character more interesting to always get at least one bomb upgrade to start with. But at the same time, I can understand that being quite powerful, so... And it has been quite powerful, we've proven that. Transferred this buff. Good. Extra key, why not? Unfortunately, we've been going all sorts of the wrong way here. Oh, really? Do a bit of damage and open up a secret room, why not? Ah, oh, bugger. Got him. Give me lots of red hearts in here. A red heart is good enough. There's also apparently a crawl space in here too. This is pretty good. This is before it's very good. Can't believe we went the wrong way so much though. It's annoying. So many dead ends. Oh my god, lodestone there. Perfect. These are active more. We get active gets bonuses when we get kills. So very, very good active. This you get to use it a lot. As you can see, it's charging up like crazy. The wrong way again. Can you stop with this game? It's pissing me off. How many times do I do this to me?
Look at all these crabs. The doobie crabs. They can just generate so many of these terraturmas. And they can generate so many spiders. What's going on with you? God, my lodestone is sucking things in. Depression, thank you. Oh, damn. He got absolutely annihilated. What the hell? He didn't even get to get into his second phase. Or was he already in his second phase? I don't know. Don't know what's going on with this room. Oh, I see. Lodestone's just making it way more confusing than it has to be. I've just got to kill the horse first, and then I can kill the heads. It's a rough room. Very rough room. Let me kill the horse, please. This is a really rough room. Wow. Without piercing and, like, super high range, this would be really, really annoying. God damn. Lodestone is helping out a ton. Another activate use. What hit me that time? Who knows? Another active use. Oh, we got a soul heart in here somewhere. Beautiful, thank you. Heals up some red hearts. From that item we got earlier. Oh god. I don't want you lasering on me, thank you. What did I just say? The rooms are kind of taking a while, even though we've got good damage. It's because I can't use my bombs right now. I can't really effectively use them. I'm so used to killing bosses so quickly. I just kind of stood there and took that, didn't I? Come on, please say we're near the boss soon. There we go, finally. Oh, he's tiny. I was like, where the hell is he? He's just a small boy. Probably hoping for a brimstone bomb there, but did not get so lucky. Oh, that guy can throw bombs too? I didn't know Blue Baby threw bombs, but makes sense. But, never seen that attack. I love this three-phase design of this attack now. Of this air uh, boss now, which is uh, so cool. Fighting the, the blue baby, then the forgotten, and the lost, which is like the three stages of Isaac's death. He is taking quite a beating, though. I will say my health is not great right now. How are you not into your second phase, your third phase yet? Come on. There you go, finally. Just line up some fires on him, there you go. There's a red heart there. Bomb him and get the red heart. Bomb him again. Beautiful. Dead Bombs has been unlocked. Awesome. What a run as a showcase as this guy. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed. I definitely did. And I'll see you guys in the next one.